What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts. And today let's check out another South Park episode you recommended from season 16. This is Sarcastable. Let's do this. Martonius Jackson catches the ball. He's running down the sideline. Oh! oh. Boom! Did you see that hit? Boom! Well, I'm not sure what he's doing now, but uh, it appears as though he's looking for his keys, Dan. Yeah, and that doesn't make a lot of sense because ever since his concussion in 06, he doesn't even have a license. Coach oh, Martin's coming no. over to tell him that now, but Jackson appears to think he's in a car driving home. That is messed up. A lot of hoopla about concussions this year in the NFL. How's the league handling all that? There certainly are interesting statistics coming out, Dan, and, and we are deeply concerned and, and waiting to see if there's really any direct correlation between football and head trauma. There's all pro safety Martin Gregors. And fullback oh, no. Jim Harris. Looks like his pants are down around his ankles. Somebody should let him know. Oh, and old surehand Mike Taftill, who seems to be baking an imaginary cake, Dan. Boy, I just don't get football. Guess that's why I suck at it. You don't suck at football, Butters. You suck at all sports. Oh, Eric tells me I should work at a Thai massage parlor. I'm so good at sucking. That's right, Butters. Oh, Butters. All right, all right. Here you go, boys. Watch them on the kickoff, all right? Special teams are the most important plays. We don't have kickoffs anymore. The school said they're the most dangerous place, so they don't have us duel them anymore. Wait, whoa! What the fuck? Does anyone have any outstanding issues? Yeah, I'd like to talk about this genius new rule in the football program about no kickoffs. Uh, yes, we've decided to go without kickoffs because of the concerns raised over concussions. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, we don't want our kids getting hurt playing football. But I think I have a way to make it even better. The players should all wear bras. And instead of helmets, they should wear little tinfoil hats. Because, you know, it's the future and we shouldn't be so barbaric. While we're at it, we'll have a balloon instead of a ball. And whoever catches the balloon tries to run while all the other players hug. How about we call it Sarcastaball? Okay, would, would you mind being the coach of the South Park Sarcastaball team? Yes, I would love to be the coach of the Sarcastaball team. <laughs> oh, Randy. Dad, do we really have to wear bras? Yes, Dan, this is what people want. Don't worry, you look really cool. I got the balloon, Coach Marshall. What should I do with it? Oh, you know, try to get it into the end zone, but be really polite about it. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> you guys look terrific. Wow, this game is great. So you're happy with these changes? Happy? I'm thrilled. Look at how much better this is. Nice for you all <laughs> to turn out in record numbers to show your support for Sarcastaball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're we're through with our kids getting knocked on the ground and tackled. Let's make Sarcastaball the official school sport nationwide. I love how situations in South Park just snowball out of control, like Randy's clear sarcasm, and how everybody's just not getting it. Marsh then found himself in front of the leaders of Washington. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. We got an economy in the <laughs> toilet, a big election coming up, but this Who's country's number one priority should be making football safer. <laughs> Obama. Are we really going to go out there and play North Park like this? I can't even remember if we're supposed to hug the fullback or compliment him. Screw this! Hey, whoa! Well, I can't believe what I'm hearing! We've been practicing and getting ready for this game, and you fellas just want to quit? It's about sportsmanship and compassion. Token, you're nicer than anybody I know. And Clyde, won't you give better hugs than anyone out on that field? That's true. <laughs> when your enemy is nice to you, you just be nice right back. And if they give you two balloons, well, you give them three. Butter's speech. You say, well, I don't need any thanks. I did it because it was the right thing to do. And then you give him a smile. Yeah. yeah. And when that other team tries to come at you, well, that's when you gotta reach deep down. Right down to your creamy center. Well, that place, well, that place inside of you with, with all the gooey, happy, loving goose sits, and you just gotta use that to be the nicest, most compassionate player you've ever been and let the world know <laughs> that we will not go down so easy. Ah! Let's do this. Stan, hook up my bra. <laughs> Give a big welcome to the new coach of the Denver Broncos, Randy Marsh. Oh, wow. Congratulations, Marsh. Good job. Nice going. Yeah, no, no, you nice going. Give him hell, coach. Loving, not shoving. Oh, yeah, good one. And now, here are your Denver whoop-dee-fucking-do girls. 
Go Broncos, go! Whoop de fucking do! We're here to sing the Sarcasta Ball anthem, recording artist CeeLo. I love Sarcasta Ball. It's so much better than football. Cause Sarcasta Ball is so super fun to watch. Woo, nice job, CeeLo. Good to see you on TV <laughs> some more. Yeah, I'm a big fan of all your hit songs. That's messed up. My dad is taking professional Sarcasta Ball really seriously. We don't have a coach, Kyle. Who needs a coach? We have Butters. From now on, you're Team Captain Butters. You lead us to victory. Oh, jeez, no, no, I don't know, fellas. Butters, you understand this game better than anybody. Yeah, but I, I, I can't be Team Captain. I, I suck at everything. Not at this, you don't. What about that creamy filling you talked about? That gooey goodness inside you that makes you the butteriest Butters we know. We need you, Butters. You're the man. All right, Butters. Butters, Butters! I love you, Butters! Love you too, ladies. Mwah. You know how I feel about the captain of sports teams. Leave him alone, Wendy. He's mine. <laughs> oh. oh, no. Dad! It happened again. More of my creamy goo came out. Oh, well, uh, that's okay, Butters. Remember what we talked about? Sometimes our happy, creamy feeling just gets so full it comes out at night. I was having happy dreams about a girl. All right, Butters, let's, it's happy feelings. Let's just not talk about it. <laughs> ah, wet dreams. Save that for later. What do you mean, save it for later, Butters? Manning has the ball. He's saying some really great things about the other team. Manning okay. met by Lamar Woodley. He's giving the balloon to Woodley. The referee is calling that a touchdown. Wait, now another official is signaling that's a safety. Oh, yeah, nice going, replacement refs. Fuck it, it's a fucking field goal. Yeah! Yeah, woo! Coach Bilicek says, no way we can beat the Broncos. They've had the same coach for almost a day. Oh, yeah, I'm just the guy who invented Sarcasta Ball. There's no way I know how to coach it. We need to practice tomorrow. Oh! Practice on Monday after a victory? Great. That's good, Peyton, but we need to get better. Practice on Monday? That's just what I want to do. That's it! I don't know what to do. Kids are starting to make fun of me because I'm no good at Sarcasta Ball. I'm so good at sucking, I should work at a Thai massage parlor. I just don't have the mojo you have, Butters. Everyone has a creamy feeling inside them, where all the feelings of compassion and joy come from. Oh, didn't your dad ever tell you that? I don't have a dad. Oh, right. I'm sorry. Aww. And, and some people have so much of that feeling that it, that it comes out sometimes. A lot of times when I go to sleep, and especially if I'm having wonderful dreams that make me feel really good, sometimes I wake up, and when I wake up, I realize some of my goo has come out. Oh, geez, there's a lot this time. But I always make sure I keep it, just in case I ever run out of all my happy sunshine feelings. My goo doesn't come out every night, but I sure do seem to have a surplus of it. Oh, no! Butters, do you think your goo might work on someone else? I don't know. Well, I never really thought of it that way. Don't, don't, don't! Oh. It's kind of a grapey, bleachy flavor. Do you feel warm and compassionate? Holy shit, I think I do. Welcome back to Rome. We're gonna talk some Sarcasta Ball. I can't wait. I can't wait to talk Sarcasta Ball because it's really compelling. Randy, first off, thanks for taking a sport that we all love and turning it into a sarcastic nightmare. Way to go. You know, when I came up with the idea, I was sure it was gonna end up like this. How about last night's nail biter that ended zero to zero? That's a game I want to watch twice. That's a game I want to watch four times. Check that. <laughs> I'll watch that game five times. Randy, aren't you going to come join your family for dinner? Oh, yeah, I've totally got time to do that, Sharon. Randy, something's happened. Are you unable to stop being sarcastic? I'm telling you, Randy, I think this sport is doing something to your brain. Right, oh, it's no. doing something to my brain, and now I can't stop being sarcastic. Help me, Sharon. Help me! <laughs> oh! Carmen, you idiot! Stay positive, Stan! All right, guys, cuddle up! Cuddle up. We need more of your mojo, Butters. And here you go. No, 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 not the whole team! No, guys! <sighs> I'm sorry, Mr. Marsh, but there appears to be permanent damage. How do we fix this, Doctor? You don't. I'm sorry, there just isn't enough research in how sarcasm affects the brain. You think there's a correlation between sarcasm and sarcastaball? Really? 
That's fascinating. Please, go on. I have a 50-year-old Alzheimer's patient out in the waiting room who can't even remember his family, but let's forget about him and focus on how Sarcastaball might be damaging people's brains. Thank you so much! I feel like she looks... I love Sarcastaball just as much as the next guy, but sometimes it's so thrilling, I need an extra burst of energy to get me through a game. That's when I reach for a bottle of this. Butters, creamy goo. What? <laughs> you effing perverts! <laughs> you play hard. You need a sports drink that gives you that extra boost. So take your game to the next level with Butters Creamy Goo. Oh, yeah! You'll be filled with feelings of good tidings and be nicer than a ray of sunshine. Like me! Butters Creamy Goo is chock full of all the essentials an athlete needs. Commitment, compassion, and camaraderie. And now it's available in quart size. Oh. When I get hot and tired, only one thing can boost my compassion. Go and chug a bottle of Butters Creamy Goo. Best served just above room temperature. Uh-uh. Sunshine and happy thoughts. Sunshine and happy thoughts. Hunt. Oh no, that kid's gonna intercept it. Good job, kid. Stan! <laughs> Stan! Dad? Get in the car, Stan. We're going home. We're sorry, Stanley. We don't want you playing this sport anymore. Get off the field, good? Okay? There's something you all need to know about Sarcastaball. That child is still under the car. We should have like 10 Sarcastaball leagues because then everyone, God damn it. Stanley, just get your things and come on. We're going home. Don't you see what this sport has done to your father? Oh, right. Like he doesn't exaggerate every disease he gets. Oh, Randy, it's happening. <laughs> We're not being sarcastic, Dad. Is it so hard to believe that we really enjoy a sport that has no violence? I don't see how anyone could play this game with any sincerity. That's because you're too grumpy and negative to believe it. You need some of this. No, you don't. No, you don't. This is cum. Oh! Ew! And you can just sit here in your room and think about what you've done. Just because people try and make football a little safer by changing a kickoff rule doesn't mean you need to take it to, oh, why don't we just drink each other's cum? Sarcasm like that is homophobic, chauvinistic, and completely lacking in maturity. What's sarcasm and what's cum? Oh, we'll talk about that when you're older. Yeah, I guess Butters wouldn't quite be old enough to understand the changes happening to his body. Ah, oh, the show. Turns out the drink I endorsed was semen. Turns out a little kid was just being sarcastic. So long, Sarcastaball. It was nice knowing you. Let's just hope nothing like this ever happens again. Probably won't. Not for another year. What? My wiener is all stiff and pointy. Butters, that's just the friendly compass. See, whenever you have friends in the area, <laughs> your little compass there tells you where they are. It's pointing up because Jesus is your friend. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> what did y'all just make me watch? If I had to sum up this episode in two words, it would be clever and gross. Clever because the plot turns sarcasm into the new CTE and gross because of Butters Creamy Goo. Lots of Butters Creamy Goo. I really respect football players for the athletes they are. I know you gotta be strong, you gotta be fast, you gotta have discipline, take strategy, but I never really wanted to play football. A, because I have Butterfingers, and B, in my mind, it just felt like the cost far outweighed the reward. I wasn't going pro, so to subject myself to those kinds of injuries and potential concussions just for fun? And the throw, and the throw, and the throw in uh, I'm good. And this Sarcastaball episode has me thinking, what is the sport that has the highest concussion rate? Is it American football? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.